Dave Grohl shocked fans when he revealed he had fathered a baby outside of his marriage. The 55-year-old Foo Fighters drummer, who was also in Nirvana in the 90s, issued a statement admitting cheating on his loyal wife Jordan Blum, 48, who he has been married to since 2003 and shares three daughters with. Taking to Instagram to share the surprise news, Dave said in a statement, I've recently become the father of a new baby daughter born outside of my marriage. I plan to be a loving and supportive parent to her. I love my wife and my children, and I am doing everything I can to regain their trust and earn their forgiveness. We're grateful for your consideration toward all the children involved as we move forward together. But the question on everyone's lips is, who has Dave fathered a child with? Here's what we know about the mystery woman so far. Who is Dave Grohl's new baby mother? Though Dave has issued a statement acknowledging he had an affair which resulted in the birth of his new baby daughter, he stopped short of revealing their names. At this time, Dave hasn't shared any further details and we don't know if he wants their identities to ever be made public. He has also turned off comments on his social media post sharing the shock news, so there are no additional clues to be found there. As Dave has said he plans to try and work things out with second wife Jordan, it's clear he isn't leaving his wife of 21 years for this mystery woman, though he has said he plans to be a loving and supportive parent to his new daughter. His three older children, Violet May, 18, Harper Willow, 15, and 10-year-old Ophelia Saint, 10, haven't reacted well to their father's earth-shaking news, understandably. Since it broke, the eldest have gone into digital hiding, a fair rumors that emerged a year ago. In a podcast episode a year ago, gossip account Dukes Moy claimed Dave was a pumpkin eater. This slang term is used to describe someone who cheats. Threads on Reddit also appeared to suggest that Dave was cheating around that time. An anonymous post from September 2023 said, This frontman a nice guy that was once in the most popular 90s band of all time isn't the perfect guy you think he is. I've known him to have a muse slash lover for years. The post continued, She has been seen with him at multiple shows and events in different cities over the years. I can't believe this has never got out beat, they were so obvious. I think it's cooled down now, but Def went on strong for a while. I wonder if his marriage is open. I'm sure this isn't the only girl. No one would know she was there. As Dave hasn't been linked with any high-profile women in the press, it's likely his mystery baby mother isn't in the spotlight. One fan speculated, It's gotta be someone that isn't famous and can just slip in and out at shows without being recognized by anyone. If you're just a normal person, you could literally travel with the band to every show of a tour and no one would ever know you're there. Hiding in plain sight. While acting the family man and keeping up his reputation as the nice man of rock, Dave Grohl has a long history of cheating on his partners. He admitted doing the dirty on his first wife, Jennifer Lee Youngblood, during their three-year marriage. Their split was so bitter it caused serious ructions with Dave's bandmate, guitarist Pat Smear, who left the band for eight years after siding with Jennifer. Speaking about it afterwards, Dave said, I was 25, my wife was even younger. We weren't ready to get married. I miss her a ton. She's the funniest goddamn weirdo you ever met in your life. Absolutely adorable. It would have been better had we not got married. But you live and you learn. After that, Dave started dating Louise Post from the band Veruca Salt. But their romance ended when during a 1997 show in Australia, when a drunk Louise claimed Dave cheated had on her with Hollywood actress Winona Ryder. However, Dave has always denied ever hooking up with actress Winona. Champion snowboarder Tyna Basit was also left devastated when Dave cheated on her as she recovered from an injury and broke up with her during a five-minute phone call after she'd been trying to get hold of him for five weeks. She fumed she was disappointed and pi asterisk asterisk said when she realized what was really going on. In her 2003 memoir Pretty Good for a Girl, the autobiography of a snowboarding pioneer, Tyna wrote, I don't know how anyone in his profession can have a normal relationship with a girlfriend, or two, as it turned out. I found out secondhand through the grapevine when it seemed like everyone else in the world knew about it but me. Breakups suck, but rock star exits are the worst.